Hi, this is Mr. Mater, the junior senior high school principal at Buckeye Online. Today, we're going to read Those Darn Squirrels by Adam Rubin and illustrated by Daniel Salmiri. On the outskirts of town, at the edge of the forest, there was a little old house. The only thing older than the little old house was the man who lived in it, Old Man Fookwire. Old Man Fookwire was so old that when he sneezed, dust came out. He was also a grump. He hated pie. He hated puppies. The only thing he liked was birds. All summer long, the old man painted pictures of the birds that visited his backyard. There were whirly birds and bonga birds, baba birds and yabba birds. Even a rare flugelbird came around once or twice. Bookwire's paintings weren't very good, but the birds never said anything. When the air turned crisp and the leaves began to change color, the old man grew sad. He knew soon that the birds would fly south for the winter, as they did every year, and that he would be lonely. Then he had an idea. If he fed the birds, maybe they would stick around. So the old man built beautiful bird feeders and put them up all around the backyard. He filled the feeders with delicious seeds and berries, and soon birds came from all over the forest just to eat in the old man's yard. <clears throat> but the birds weren't the only ones who liked the bird feeders. The squirrels did too. Not many people know this, but squirrels are the cleverest of all woodland creatures. In fact, they're fuzzy little geniuses. They can make a house out of a tree, a bed out of a bunch of leaves, and a box kite out of twigs, dirt, and squirrel spit. They are also excellent at math. Winter was fast approaching, and the squirrels needed to gather as much food as they could to get ready. So they decided to take some of the bird food. The birds were not happy, and neither was old man Folkwire. When he discovered what had happened, he shook his old man fist and yelled, Those darn squirrels! He filled the feeders up again, but this time he hung them from a clothesline. Then he went back inside, confident that the squirrels would no longer be able to get to the seeds and berries. But the squirrels were determined. They devised a plan, and this time they took all of the food from the bird feeders. The birds were furious. Harumph, 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 yelled the bonga bird. Those darn squirrels, yelled old man Fuckwire. Yum, said the squirrels. Now it was old man Fuckwire's turn to devise a plan. He went to the general store to get supplies. He bought lasers and clamps. He bought wires and springs. He bought all sorts of tools and built a veritable fortress around his bird feeders. Then he refilled them very carefully. Na-na-na-na-na, snorted the flugel bird. The squirrels stayed up all night working out their strategy. They drank cherry cola and ate salt and vinegar chips to help them stay awake. Finally, they had it. The perfect plan. They put, put on their tiny helmets and prepared to launch themselves into the air, over the fence, between the lasers, and onto the bird feeders. The first squirrel misfired and hit a tree. The second squirrel went too high and landed in a bucket. The third squirrel sailed clear over the house. The birds laughed and laughed. They each had one last delicious mouthful of seeds and berries from the old man's feeders. Then they flew south for the winter, just as they did every year. <clears throat> said the flugel bird. After the birds left, Old Man Folkwire was lonely, just as he was every year. He fixed himself some cottage cheese and pepper, which was his favorite snack, but he was still lonely. 
Then he looked out the window. The squirrels could tell he wasn't happy. Go away, shouted the old man. I don't like you, squirrels. <clears throat> the squirrels held a meeting deep inside a large tree. They decided to give the old man a present to make up for taking the seeds and the berries. Now, not many people know this, but squirrels are not only the fuzzy little geniuses, they also collect just about anything they can find on the ground. These squirrels had a vast stockpile of spectacular junk to choose from. But what about foot wire? Or what would foot wire like? Bottle caps? Popsicle sticks? Post stamps? Finally, they had it. The perfect gift. The squirrels stacked all of their loose change on Old Man Folkwire's doorstep. There were dimes and pennies. There were nickels and quarters. There were even a few tokens from Coco's Arcade. It all added up to $47.36, plus a few rounds of skee-ball. Maybe you squirrels aren't so bad, Folkwire said when he found the coins, but I still like birds better. This gave the squirrels another idea. They raided their junk collection again and got to work. When old man Folkwire woke up the next morning, he was amazed to see that the birds had returned. But wait, those things weren't birds. They were squirrels in disguise. Great googly moogly, said old man Folkwire. This will make quite a painting. He ran outside and took down the lasers and the wires and the spring-loaded trapeze. He turned all the bird feeders into squirrel feeders. Then he painted till his brush ran out of bristles. The squirrels were so overjoyed, they had a party in old man Folkwire's house. Those darn squirrels, said Folkwire, and he shook his old man fists and he smiled. The end. Thank you for helping us celebrating uh, Read Across America Week. We hope you enjoyed the book today and have a good day.